the office of the Attorney General has officially launched and opened the Nairobi Primary School as a gazetted marriage registration center following the backlog caused in its existing marriage offices due to the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the state law, Chief Administrative Secretary Winnie Gushu, the launch of the Nairobi Primary School as a marriage processing center will not only ease the interruption of services caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, but also ensure crowd control in compliance with the Ministry of Health guidelines on social distancing. Dickens Levanda has more. The Office of the Attorney General and the Department of Justice is striving to make the process of getting married in the country much simpler and safer, especially during this time that the country is still recording cases of coronavirus. As you are aware that uh, COVID-19 necessitated for us to close the marriage uh, services for some time. The exercise which resumed in July after being suspended in an effort to curb the spread of coronavirus resumed but through the online platform and so couples conduct their ceremonies virtually after registering through the e-citizen portal. Two months down the line, the state law office has launched Nairobi Primary School in Kenya's capital Nairobi as a gazetted marriage registration center and venue for weddings of couples residing within Nairobi County. We have two points where we are conducting the marriages. This is one point and we have another point across there so that every couple has some form of privacy when they are conducting their marriages. We have chosen to do it in open air because it is safer in the under the circumstances of COVID-19, it is safer for the couples who are getting married and the registrars of marriages, the people who are conducting the marriages, because it is in the open and we are able to do social distancing. The venue will serve as a marriage registration center for three months, beginning September, October and November, before schools reopen. We want to thank Nairobi Primary School for availing this venue and it has been gazetted as required by law so that marriages can be conducted here for the next three months. When schools resume, we hope we'll have dealt with a lot of backlog, so we'll be able to find another option. If schools do reopen, we'll find another venue where we can continue to do uh, the weddings outdoor. We are conducting uh, marriage ceremonies on Wednesdays, Thursdays and Friday, and every day we are officiating 20 marriages, 10 on this side and 10 on the other side. Already, the marriage process has already begun at the center and a total of 20 marriages are being conducted per day for three days, totaling to 60 marriages per week with only the bride, the groom and two witnesses being allowed at the venue after appointment basis after registration in an effort to contain crowding. The Office of the Attorney General and the Department of Justice countrywide is still conducting marriages in respective centers besides the normal church, Hindu, Islamic and customary marriages which are still ongoing and so this does not mean that everyone who seeks to get married has to visit Nairobi. Marriages are going on around the whole country. So there are different uh, registrars. Where we have offices, there are registrars of marriages who are conducting marriages in the 12 offices that we have in the region. Where we do not have offices in the region, the district commissioners are the ones who conduct. They have been licensed by the registrar to conduct the marriages. So the marriages are happening all over the country. Where we are having the garden weddings is in Nairobi only. CAS Gwini Guchu admits that there has been an upsurge in marriage registration applications, hence the need to devise more modern ways to enhance efficiency. According to data from the registrar, about 400 clients were attended to during the low season and 600 during high seasons heading to December 2019. We've not spent much, maybe 15,000. Yeah, there is a celebration in the house. Kidogo We've only come with my daughter. The rest of the children are back in the house or in their duties. Couples who want to do a civil wedding are still required to register online, book for a pre-wedding interview, and later get an appointment for the wedding. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Now, if you are living in Nairobi and you're planning to do your wedding through the office of the Attorney General, this is going to be your venue for the wedding, at least for the next three months. Dickens Luvanda, Hope TV Newswatch at Nairobi Primary School, Nairobi County.